All right, good morning, good morning. It is the last day, I think. I think it's the 20th. It's the last day of spring. Can you believe it? Feels like we're already in summer where we are. It does for me. The weather shifted a lot. It's been hot, right? I wanted to share a story before we get started. Um, as you guys know, I work with the medicine wheel and tend to the land and notice my life and and just go there. I started it when I moved back to Birmingham as a place to go. The land was my dad's and and um, I just started moving rocks, right? And now I've created this amazing, beautiful medicine wheel. So this past weekend, I went up there to prepare, as we're gonna do spiritually today, prepare for the new season. So I was gonna go clean up the spring and pull the rocks, you know, pull the weeds and realign the rocks and mow the grass and all. And when I got up there, there was something a little strange. The horses were acting very strange. They were all around me. They wouldn't move out of my way. And I had carrots for them. And it was almost like they like took all the carrots, like, okay, they must be hungry, right? But then as I started walking the circle, I noticed something was strange. And when I got to the centers where I saw it, my center, huge center, beautiful crystal was gone. And I was just like, oh no, I was so upset. And the tears just started pouring. And then as I started looking around, I saw that they had tried to take others and they had broken the ones in the north. And I was just like beside myself. I don't think it was just my sadness. I feel that through this sacred site, this portal of energy I've created up there, I was crying for all indigenous people. It was so deep, like this is how it feels to have sacred land just destroyed, like come in and yes, I can exaggerate, it was only crystals and rocks, right? But I've been up there for like 12, 13 years now building this beautiful place and going there and and it was so intense. So I just let the tears flow and sat there for a while and just tried to like kind of get a grip, right? And then I just started kind of going, okay, you know, started moving the rocks back and started noticing. And I'd often wondered how I would pull the crystals up when it was time for me to go. And I've just reached that five year mark. I had committed to being here after my mom died and all. And, and so it really hit me hard, like, wow, the universe is telling you it's time to go. And that was big. It was really big. So as I gathered my strength <laughs> and started moving rocks, which always helps me, started replacing them, moving them around, I did pull the crystals. I left the one that they had, it's pretty much just a big, huge rock now because they had taken the points. I actually, I found most of them. I'm just laying there, but I sat there and reset the space and I just cried and cried and I'm like, okay, you know, Tara, sometimes you need big messages. It was pretty big. And so yesterday I was up there, there's two women um, that came up there with me. This one woman is in town, her name is Ann Jonas. I happened to meet her through my podcast, who knows somebody here, Gwendolyn. They're doing an event at Clubhouse, please come, please come. It's, it's Thursday night, they've included me in it now. Thursday night, Clubhouse 6 to 8. But anyway, they came up there to see the land. Um, Gwendolyn is also a, a landscaping insects, plant person. So she was great. She was pointing out all the trees to me. But we went up there to kind of heal and do some sacred ceremony and all and just kind of bring some energy back to the space and the beauty that it is. And so as I was standing there just thinking about the messages from Sunday and just looking at my life and opening up that energy, one, a butterfly flew right right there in front of me and it matched what I was wearing. <laughs> it matched in the colors, this black and this indigo blue. I was wearing a black top and this like kind of bluish slatish gray sk uh, hiking skirt. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here it is. My butterfly of transformation, it matches me. And then I found a feather, a hawk feather. So there was like just so much renewal of energy and renewal of my faith in me moving forward. And that's what the medicine wheel can do for us. It can help us to understand our life, our path. And as we go to approach this new season, it's like really recognizing too. What seeds have you planted this spring? Where are you growing? Where are you going? Maybe it all seems like weeds. And sometimes I feel like my work <laughs> seems like weeds. Where is the, where's, where's the people to help, right? But as we clean it up and as we make room, any garden will tell you, pull the weeds and then you make more space for things to grow. So don't despair wherever you are in your life. It's a great way to operate and a great opportunity to look at your path and see what you're doing and move a rock, course correct. That has taught me so much in my life. Not everything is off, but just move a little energy, shift where you are. 
And so as we go to prepare for the summer, today is a day to look at your spring, look at your life. Where is it growing? What is going on? And feel the abundance, good, bad, or indifferent. Even with weeds, there's abundance, right? And so we can honor those places in our life that may be hurting, that may be full of, of some sorrow and some pain, but that's how we learn. And so we don't judge it. We don't judge it, we don't judge ourselves. We just allow for that movement to come forward and clear out the old stagnant energy and clear out judgment if you do hold judgment about yourself. So that's what we wanna to work to with today. We wanna to take an imaginary trip around the medicine wheel really through that spring season. Go back to the beginning of spring, March where you were, and just kinda of move forward. I'll guide you through and just to honor so that when we come to that solstice energy, I think it's actually Friday, 20th actually I read either way we start we stand in that place right longest day of the year brightest light of the year and we honor that transition within us and that's what we want to do today through our prayers through our spirit through going in deep within our soul the element is water we'll talk more on um, Saturday is the new moon a uh, full moon we'll do a full moon celebration here and I'll talk more about the season of summer. It is the element of water. Water's our emotions. It's the flow of energy. It's that divine feminine. It's opening up to that wildness within you so that you can have fun and patience as we move through this new season and allow your work to grow. So let's begin by honoring this season that we've been in with the sacred elements, finding some fire. As you light it, feel that spark of energy within you. Notice the element of air come forward, clearing the space, clearing the mind, pulling your energy within. Calling in the element of water, allowing the emotions to flow, the heart to open for all life. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, feeling that connection with Mother Earth, our beautiful Mother Earth. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, breathing all the way down, slowing down. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy into you, call it in. Take another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, Aligning the energy, calling in the spiritual body, aligning right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, centering. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, dropping right into your heart, right into the deepest part, feeling that connection. Your spirit, the greater spirit, creator, source, God. Know that you are loved guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around you. As we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels for joy to lift our spirits, the crystal beings for amusement, magnification, calling in your higher self to receive the messages coming forward for you. Taking a deep inhale, breathing all the way up from the earth, all the way beyond the crown into the higher realms. And exhale, bringing that breath all the way down, calling in absolute light, streams of grace to wash all the way through you. Inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, breathing all the way down, opening up this radiant channel. And again, inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale all the way back down, opening your light. And now from the heart, expanding that breath all around you, opening up the aura, breathing, expanding. And exhale, bringing it all the way back in, pull it in. And again, inhale, expanding the aura, front, side, back, side. Let it open, let it breathe. And exhale, pulling it all the way back in. Your light, your vibration. Inhale, expanding it again. 
and exhale, coming back into the heart. Right here in the deepest part of your heart, bringing that energy inward, begin to notice as I start to send Reiki out, sending it back, Han sensation in, Han sensation in, Han sensation in, back to the march, back to the opening of spring. See yourself standing right there at that beginning of the season for you. Where were you? What were you doing? What did you notice as you opened up to the spring? What did you begin to set out for you, known or unknown sometimes? In late March, we moved into April. Was it a rainy April? More seeds are planted, more possibilities. Take a breath. Notice. And from April, we opened up to May. Temperatures changing. Little plants starting to peek through. Your possibilities opening up. Notice. And now here we are, right on the edge to cross into that new season. And whatever you want to leave behind, sahaki, 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 from Reiki, we release, we let go, we cut the cords out of the energy, out of the aura, sweep it through, let it go. Whatever you want to leave behind, fears, doubts, worries, will it grow? Let it go, judgment on your own soul's path, let it go. Free the energy, cut the cords, disconnect, let it go. Sending Reiki. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Mother Earth, for this path. Thank you. Thank you for the growth of my soul. Offer these blessings. Maybe it hasn't been easy. That's okay. Offer that too. The wheel will spin. We always say we're on the bottom. Be grateful. It's going to spin and get you back to the top. When you're on the top, be grateful too, because it will turn again. So offer that gratitude, good, bad, or indifferent. Love yourself for all the efforts you have brought forward that will lead to these new possibilities for you, your path, your light. See all this energy swirling around. Send up your prayers to God, Creator. Thank you. Thank you for this direction, for this season. Thank you, Mother Earth, for all the beautiful trees and flowers and herbs, everything growing in grasses, all the beautiful colors. Thank you for reminding us we come alive again and again and again. Just feel this gratitude right in your heart. Allow for any messages to come in for you now. Bring them in. Just bringing that awareness right to the solar plexus and just breathing in and out of the solar plexus, releasing any excess energy holding there, your power, your strength, anything blocking that, inhaling, exhaling right through that solar plexus. See that yellow, the yellow light of the sun, the fire element of spring just burning right through, transmuting, transforming your power so that you can step forward with strength with clarity, breathing in, hold it in the heart, exhale right through the solar plexus, inhaling, 
exhaling right there telling that inner child your inner self i am good i am okay i am moving and growing i am right here with you inhaling and exhaling feel this energy coming in for you allowing yourself to recognize your path in life inhaling and exhaling all the way down to mother earth connecting that energy for you right from your heart through the energy of your solar plexus and now opening that third eye all this beautiful light opening that third eye that's going to guide you right into this new season feel that awareness for you inhaling and exhaling and just noticing for you as you step forward see yourself right in that path right in that center line summer spring you right now holding that space for your path your soul and healing and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth bring all this awareness with you see hear feel know this change these transitions are for your growth your path your lessons your soul's work inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth let's just tap this beautiful vibration see yourself standing right in the center i am present i am alive i am growth i miss i am healthy i am transitioning and again i am present to my life i am creating my path i am the artist of my spirit i'm growing healthy alive i am in alignment with my soul right here right now creating through my dreams my life i am strong i am happy healthy i am one more say your own mantras i am i am i am the light i am source i am one with creator i am Karate chop, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Release the hands, take a nice deep breath, inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into Mother Earth. And just as we go to close, bringing the hands right up to the heart, inhaling and exhaling. Feel the gratitude for your life just for today. I am grateful. Feel the gratitude of your spirit and the greater spirit connecting. Gratitude for showing up for you through this transition of life on your path. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into Mother Earth. And as you're ready, with the heart open, the strength of your solar plexus and that third eye guiding you, bring the eyes back open, coming back. All right, journal, continue doing this process. We will meet again Saturday morning for the celebration of this full moon equinox energy. I'll talk more about the summer. Time to change our altars. Yay, I put some information in the teachery site. Check it out. Come join us at Clubhouse Thursday night for a beautiful celebration. Come join me at Ritual Shelter for my book signing. I'm so excited. Portals of Energy. And don't forget to RSVP. I've only heard from a couple of people. Please, for Saturday, I'm making, I'm making almond muffins. Yay. Come join us. 
Thanks for joining me. To your spirit. Namaste.